all of this, I want to bring in Christy Lou Stout. She joins us live now from Hong Kong. Christy, you know, these, these pictures are just incredible uh, to, yeah. to, to see as Shanghai slowly emerges from this lockdown. Uh, how is this unfolding? You know, in Shanghai, there are scenes of joy and relief, but there's also pain. There's also lingering bitterness and fear about what could happen next. Look, most of Shanghai's 25 million residents have been able to emerge from this two-month-old lockdown. You see scenes like the ones you're seeing on the screen. Pedestrians returning to the streets. Traffic is up and running again. Shopping centers and offices have reopened. But the damage has been done. I mean, this is a city, the financial capital of China, a mega city of 25 million that is scarred, scarred by some rather draconian measures in the name of zero COVID that have been in place, measures that led to food shortages, measures that led to a disruption in access to medical care, measures that led to family separations involving members of the family who are elderly and even small children. You know, these are the measures that led to an incredible, massive outcry among residents in Shanghai, an outcry that managed to bypass the Great Firewall in China. And it also, and critically, has eroded trust and faith in the government in Shanghai. I want you to take a look at just some of the reactions that we've been monitoring, one on social media. This one is a WeChat message that went viral from a resident in Shanghai who writes, a ridiculous drama is over and no one has come forward to explain. No one has apologized to the lives that were insulted, harmed and lost and no one has been held accountable, unquote. And then we have this from Rocky Lee, the sales manager based in Shanghai, who tells CNN this, quote, the measures taken in the past two months have really damaged the reputation of the city and made people realize how poor its governance capacity is. Many companies and investors have lost confidence in Shanghai and in China in general. Ali as he is thinking about leaving Shanghai because he no longer feels safe and secure. I should also add that uncertainty lingers because in zero COVID China, the testing regime still continues. Mass mandatory testing is still underway for the residents in the city as local government officials and officials across China continue to hunt relentlessly for the virus. Back to you, Allison. Okay, Christy Loose down in Hong Kong. Thanks so much.